Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Amazon Recognition and perform facial analysis on a photo. So the cool thing about using Amazon Recognition, we're here in that section of the console, is that there's this demo section in this tool. So you can go to the facial analysis section and actually play with this before we try to interact with it programmatically. Uh, so let me show you kind of what this looks like here. Uh, you can see this is just a preview image. Uh, it's doing some analysis here on this young lady's face. It's figuring out, you know, that her eyes are probably here. She has sunglasses on, where her nose and where the sides of her mouth are. And then if you look on the side here, it gives you all this other useful information too like is this actually a face it gives you a confidence level male or female age range uh, whether or not they're smiling whether or not they're happy and if they're wearing glasses uh, so if I try this with a different photo let me show you what this looks like for a photo of me for example um, it can easily detect kind of where I am here in the image and the key characteristics about my face and you can see that it is definitely doing a pretty good job and it's figuring out that like I'm smiling appears to be happy and not wearing glasses all that kind of stuff uh, so this is is the feature that we're going to be interacting with through a Lambda function. And it doesn't tell you here, but the API that we need to use to interact with recognition here is one that's called detect faces. And I have the documentation up with the details here. So you can see that it detects faces within an image that is provided as input. And it can also detect many faces in an image. So it's not just limited to one. So it's going to give you detail on all the different faces that are in the picture. So pretty neat. Uh, you can see a bunch of details here about like what the request looks like and different settings about this API, but I'll explain this to you as we go along. Uh, so you can Google detect faces if you want to access this API. All right, so let's close this out. So in order to get started, there's a couple things that we need to do. Our first step is to upload a file to S3. So I'm going to be uploading this picture to S3 uh, because that's one of the requirements for input into the Detect Faces API. You can also use the file as a byte stream if you have access to it within your Lambda function in this case, but it's much easier to do this using S3. So that's what I'm going to do in this demonstration. Uh, then we need to create our Lambda function. That's pretty easy to do. We need to add permissions to the Lambda function to get access to recognition and S3 actually. That was something that I tried over you also need the get object permission in addition to the recognition detect faces api um, so you need those s3 permissions as well then we're going to write some code and we're going to test this whole thing out so that's what we're going to do in this video let's get started all right so let's go to the s3 section first we need to upload our file so i'm just typing in s3 and actually i need to create a bucket as well so let's do that going to go to create bucket and you can name this whatever you want so let's call mine bb dev or be better dev dash images hopefully that name isn't taken uh, we're going to scroll down block public access is good create buckets and okay so bb dev let's just filter that down images here we are and now let's upload that image of me with my two dogs so go to add files here and we're just gonna pick uh where is it yeah daniel dogs there we go and click on upload and let's just double check to make sure this image is the correct one by clicking on it and let's click on open. There we go. So we definitely have the right image stored in S3 now. So let's close that out. A couple things that we're going to need is we're going to need the name of our bucket, which is this one here. And we're also going to need the name of our file. So mine is just Daniel underscore dogs dot JPG. All right. So put those on your clipboard or something because we're going to need them in the next step. So let's go ahead now and create our Lambda function. I'm just going to leave this open because we're probably going to need this a little bit later. All right. So going to my other tab here and we need to go to Lambda now and let's do that. So Lambda function and we're going to go to create function in the top right here. And let's call this uh, detects detect faces. We'll be using Python, but you know, this same thing applies for any language. So that's good. Architecture is fine. Permissions, that's fine. We're going to leave it as a default execution rule. And then we're going to update the permission policy in a moment here. So let's go ahead and create that function. It's going to take a few seconds because it needs to create an IAM role as well. So be patient here and I'll come back when this is all done. All right, so we successfully created the detect faces Lambda function. The next thing that we need to do is we need access to the get object API from S3 and the Amazon recognition detect faces API. So we need to add those policy statements to our role that is currently being used by this Lambda function. So in order to do that, we need to go to configuration 
And you can see here under the permissions tab, I believe by default, it usually loads general. But if you go to permissions and you see the execution role here, here's the name of the role that Lambda created for us. And if you look under resource summary, you can see here, if you click on this guy, it only has access to Amazon CloudWatch. This is just for logging. So we need to give it some additional permissions. So I'm just gonna click on this. Let's open it in a new tab. And we're gonna go and add those permissions for recognition in S3 to this uh, role. All right, so here we are in IEM now. Uh, what we wanna do is we want to go to add permissions over here on the right side. We're gonna go to attach policies. So we're gonna search for S3 here and it should be S3. We don't want full access. We only need read-only access here. And more specifically, we just need the get object API. So you can create a policy that's a little bit more specific if you'd like. I'm just gonna click on the radio box here. And I'm gonna clear this filter and we need Amazon recognition. And I believe it's spelled with a K, so recognition. And we also need read-only access. Oddly enough, if we go into this, the permissions that we get, um, we want the detect faces API. It's considered a read operation. So read-only access seems to work with it. So make sure you click on that radio box too. Let's just minimize that. We should have two policies now. So yeah, so two selected. And we want to just go to attach policies in the bottom right now. All right, so policies have been successfully attached to the role. Perfect, we can just close out the IAM section. We don't need that anymore. And let's just refresh the page and confirm that we have the right permissions now. So still on the configuration tab under permissions. And if you scroll down now and you click on this, you can see we now have a bunch of additional stuff. So we have access to Amazon recognition, Amazon S3, and with that, S3 read-only policy also came uh, the S3 object lambda permissions, which we don't need in this case. All right, so everything is looking good here. Let's go back to code now. And we need to update our Lambda function here. So we can get rid of this. Um, another thing that we want in addition to JSON is we need to import Bodo3. So let's do that. Let me actually make this a little bit, there we go, a little bit bigger so everyone can see. All right, perfect. So we need a uh, variable for our bucket name. So let's say our bucket name is equal to, and what did I call this? Yeah, bbdev-images, just gonna copy that and paste that in there. And then we also need a file name. So file name is, I also can't remember because I have a very short attention span. So I'm just gonna copy that over and there we go. All right, so that's looking good. Um, the next thing is we need to get a reference to the Amazon recognition client so that we can call Amazon recognition. We'll be using the Bodo3 library to do that. Um, so what you wanna do is do client is equal to bodo3.client and then you just say uh, recognition is the name of it. And actually I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it outside the context of the Lambda um, so that it's not doing that on every invocation so it can be reused later. Um, all right, so in order to call Amazon recognition, we need to use that detect faces API. So I'm just gonna paste in here the command that we're gonna use, I have it off screen. So let me paste this in and explain to you what it's doing. Uh, so we're, we're setting the result to a response variable and we're using that client that we have from up here. We're calling detect faces and we're passing it under the image, a dictionary object where the key is S3 object and the value is this object here. So the value is giving the bucket, which is our bucket name, which is right here, pbdev-images. And the name is giving our file name, which is right here. So our file name is daniel underscore dogs dot jpg. You also have attributes here. You can specify which attributes you want. This is in the documentation. So if you want details, um, maybe on just smiling or just if it's a man or a woman or just the age, you can specify what you want here. If you put in all, then it's it's going to give you everything back, which is good enough for me. All right, so that's going to make the call to Amazon recognition. The next thing we want to do is we just kind of want to process the result. And so um, the response has a key in it. So the key is called face details in the response object. And face details, there, since there can be many faces in the image that we upload, it's actually an array. So we need to handle that. Um, so we're gonna say for face in response, and then we need to get the face details. So the result of this is, um, the result of face details, that is, is an array of the different faces um, that we have here and all the details about them. And then all we're gonna do after that is is we're just gonna print the results out. So we're gonna say json.dumps and we're gonna give it uh, our face here and we're just gonna give it some indentation so that we can see what's going on. So this should be good. Just looking over everything, we got our client, we got our bucket name, our file name, we're calling the API, we're iterating over um, the response of face details and this is gonna print for every face that's in the image, um, just a JSON dump of the object itself. All right, so let's try this out now. In order to try that, we need to first deploy it. 
So make sure you click on that. Now we need to click on test. We need to create a test event. This doesn't matter. Just type in anything that you want. Go ahead and click on save. And now we can just click on test here really quick and this should work and there you go. So it seems like uh, we're getting some data. So bounding box of the face, you can see the same information as before. So age range 26 to 36, uh, smile, I'm definitely smiling, 95% confidence, eyeglasses, sunglasses, gender, uh, beard, Oh, interesting. It thinks that I have a beard. Uh, I guess I do have a beard in that photo, right? Yeah, probably. Um, I guess what a beard is, is kind of subject to interpretation. But anyways, um, it gives you all the details here. And if you want, you can extract like an, an individual one here from each object. So say, for example, we want the age range um, and low. So we want this value. So all we would do is we would just say face and then something like this, where we would put in um, age range and then low, low. And that should give us uh, just the, the value there. So 26. So I hope this video was useful. And if you enjoyed this, check out my other ones on AWS on the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.